Hi, good morning. It's Gina Brogan, and I am with Second Act Life Coaching. I am wanting to talk to you today about quick tips to shift your thoughts when you start going down that rabbit hole of doubt. And this happens to everybody, no matter who you are, you are not immune to thoughts of doubt and fear once in a while. And so the best things that you can do are to recognize that you are starting down a rabbit hole of doubt. Recognize and, pay and acknowledge. If you do not acknowledge these fear thoughts and these doubtful beliefs and things that are happening for you, oh, like magical doors opening behind me, um, that's a teenager getting up. He's almost officially a teenager on Friday. Woohoo! Uh, anyway, as I was saying, um, nobody's immune to it. So when you, the most important thing to do, the first step, is to acknowledge it and recognize, hey, these are thoughts that do not feel good. I am getting in, I'm going down a rabbit hole. Um, whether they're financially related or relationship related or job related, uh, it doesn't really matter, or even health related. It does not serve you to go into this fear and worry state because that will just bring, it will lower your vibration and it will lower your energy and it will bring on more of those fear circumstances. So, and I'm not going to say that if you worry, your life is going to go down the hole. What I am here to say though is if you stay in a state of worry all the time, you, your energy lowers, your vibration lowers, and you attract more of those low vibration circumstances, people, situations that you don't want to. You want to avoid low vibration situations, right? So um, first step, acknowledge it to yourself. Even if you have to write it in a journal, say, you know what? I am feeling so scared. I'm scared that I'm going to run out of money or I'm scared that I'm not going to be healthy or I'm scared that my boyfriend is leaving me. It doesn't matter what it is you're scared of. Put it down there on paper or get it out somehow. Acknowledge it. Number two, number two step is to quickly reframe. Tell yourself a new story. Just write a new story. And the best way, the quickest way to do that is to look at what you wrote down that you're worried about. So if it's, I'm worried that I'm going to be sick or I'm worried that I'm going to lose my job. That's an easy one. I'm worried I'm going to lose my job. I made a mistake at work and now I'm worried. So quickly tell yourself a new story, even if you don't believe it, it doesn't matter. So your new story can be, oh, my work is valued. My employer values the work that I do. I offer a huge amount of value to my company or to my employer or whatever it is. And, and they love the fact that I am part of this company. I am an asset. And you just come up with whatever stories, whatever affirmations serve you and feel better. And you may have a hard, if you're in your worried state, you may have a hard time believing that new story, but that's okay. Keep writing it down. Like you used to do, um, you know, what they used to do in school, like write, I will not spit gum, chew gum in class 50 times. Do that if that helps. You know, write it down. I am a valuable asset to this company. I am a valuable asset to this company. Or... An easy one that you don't, if you don't have the ability to write it down, say it 10 times counting on your fingers. I'm a valuable asset to this company. I'm a valuable asset to this company. And just keep saying it over and over and over again. Um, and then let it go. See how that shifts your energy and your mood. Um, so that is the next thing to do. Step one, acknowledge it. Step two, Tell a new story that fits your, serves your purpose, that helps you to shift your energy. And number three, look for evidence. Look for evidence of what that, of that new story. So that can look like in our example of, oh, I made a mistake and now I'm worried I'm going to lose my job. That can look like um, looking at the, all of the work that you have done that you are proud of. 
make a quick list of the things that you've accomplished in your job just in the past week or month. And that will reinforce your story of what a valuable asset you are to your company. Does that make sense? So look for evidence um, of supporting and serving the story, you, your new story that you want to believe that replaces your fear story. Does that make sense? And then step four, just vibe with it. Get into the vibe of it. And if you need to talk to a friend who loves and adores you and believes that story about you already, then reach out to a friend and say, oh my God, you wouldn't believe I had this, you know, rabbit hole thought and I started to go down it, but I caught myself. Could you help me reinforce this new story? Um, and like one of my favorites is to do is to do is to go to my journal and reframe the story, vibe with the story, and tell myself that new story over and over again and start to get into the vibe of what a valuable asset I am to the company, right? Do whatever it takes to help you get into that feeling state and to get the, to make that connection with the, the thoughts and your body and your body to feel it. So those are four quick steps to shift your mindset and to change your state from a fear and worry state to vibing with confidence with whatever your new story is. Um, hi, John. This is one of your biggest challenges. Awesome. Well, I'm so glad this helps because sometimes we just need a quick reminder. And if you just joined, you want to re uh, watch the re Play. I just went over really quickly just four steps um, to when you notice yourself going down a rabbit hole of worry, uh, recognize it, acknowledge it. That's step one. And I call it my barking dogs because that sort of disassociates it and it makes it a lighter thing. I say, oh, there's my barking dogs again. They're trying to keep me safe. They're trying to keep me in my comfort zone. Um, and say, hey, I hear you barking dogs. I hear what you're saying. Thank you so much. And then step two is to tell a new story. Find a new story that is serving the story that you want to believe that makes you feel better. Step three, look for evidence to support the new story. Look for evidence. So look around and you can see the example I gave in the, pre in the replay. And step four, do whatever it is that you need to do to vibe with that new story and to feel it in your body, to settle down your body. Um, Cause if you're in a deep state of worry, you know, I feel it right here in my stomach, in my solar plexus, plexus. I feel it very acutely. Um, so whatever you need to do, for some people it's talking to a friend, reach out to somebody to help you support the new story. Um, for some people, it's journaling. Sometimes it helps me just to journal out um, all the, the funky thoughts and to journal in the new ones and to just really vibe with the new story. Um, it may help to call a friend. Call somebody who supports you, somebody who you know loves and trusts you and, and vibes with your positive story. Not somebody, do not reach out to somebody who's gonna reinforce your fear thoughts. Um, that is a real strong um, self-care strategy that is so important is know who your marble jar friends are. Know who supports you and know who will feed your fear. Know the difference because we all have those both, both of those types of people in our lives. Know the difference and know who to reach out to when you need that support, when you need to be lifted up because frankly, we all do from time to time. So those are my four quick steps to shift your thoughts from worry to success. Um, and oh, there are affirmations. I just had an affirmation pop up on my phone and I have them on my phone all the time throughout the day. Uh, and that one said, um, as I heal, the world heals because every step that I take toward healing on the inside, it is vibrating out from me. That is the energy I'm putting out. I'm putting out healing energy. So anybody around me in my field has the benefit of my healing energy. And that's the same for you. As you heal on the inside, 
you vibrate healing vibes to the people around you and then that your ripple is felt throughout the world so um, do whatever it takes to shift your thoughts reach out get help um, don't be afraid to acknowledge when you are in fear uh, and that's the first step to healing all right I will I have to run to work now and I will talk to you later um, and thank you guys for hopping on here I appreciate it ask me questions write in the comments if you have any questions send me personal messages reach out to me this is what I'm doing for my love of my life I love this love this love this work and you can't stop me so if you need help if you have any questions let me know all right thanks so much I'll talk to you later bye